Okay, so this is a little bit of a project I've been working on. This is a portable analog television from 1981. It is from a company, well, a subsidiary of a subsidiary of a company from Japan in uh, 1981. It originally ran on uh, 6D batteries, which would mean it weighs several pounds. Um, it's got a full 5-inch... Uh, uh, CRT TV screen. Um, this thing is really amazing. It's got a vacuum tube that's just so cute and small and looks almost military-esque. I mean, you've got these really, really vintage uh, uh, labels on there. And believe it or not, Orion there, I'm seeing this for the first time, Orion is the uh, company that makes this thing. I alluded to that when I said it's a subsidiary. TMK of a larger subsidiary called Tokyomoto and uh, Orion owns that so that's cool um, that's the problem though uh, I, I can't find any literature on this thing because um, you know it's just it's just lost to time it was not expensive it's not a hi-fi set you know it had it had an internal antenna it had this thing but you know for the most part that's kind of trash it's been broken. It was broken probably in the night. Wow, that focuses real well. Come on. Come on. Either way. It was um, broken in the 90s and, you know, useless. It has hookups in the back. I won't turn it around all the way because it's really flimsy. The board right there will bend real easy, so I got it propped up on the antenna head. This is its case, by the way. Um, it had a little foot here that you could set it up on, and to give you some reference, it would keep it at a height like that. You see what I'm saying? You put it in there. I cleaned this up with some Windex, which uh, actually worked nice because in the end of the day, at the end of the day, there's really no, there's really no electronics in there. It did have a speaker which was connected in there. You might be able to see. I need some light over here. You might be able to see where the speaker went at one point, it's right here. It was connected to this power cable, or this power supply here, which is kind of neat. Um, it was connected in the back. It took, if I can find the input there, it took a 12 volt DCI in, or some other connector there. It's an older standard, I believe, right there. But, uh, yeah, the battery connection was hella corroded, as you can see. It uh, didn't even have batteries in there um, when I found it. It hadn't had, prep, uh, hadn't had batteries in there for like 10 years, but at one point it probably had 10 more years of batteries in there. So this is a 35, 40-year-old device at this point, which is crazy. The 80s do not feel like they're 40 years away, if you know what I'm saying. But that's the fact. So how did I bring it back online? So... I had to cut that power cable, right? I had to cut that power cable because it was not feeding anything through. I plugged it up um, and wouldn't come on, wouldn't even show any signs of life. So I looked at where that connection was made. Let me set that up. Right here is this little black connection to a white input with a red and yellow cable. That is something I recognized, and um, at first, I didn't know where, right? But I thought about it, and a long time ago, I built myself this uh, little PC here for miscellaneous gaming and photo editing. It was really just a mishmash, uh, but my first attempt nonetheless, and it was very fun. If you haven't done something like this, I encourage you, because it's not that, it's not that expensive, believe it or not. Anyway, so yeah, that connection also powers this guy, a little plastic fan, of all things. Uh, it's crazy to think that this entire device could be powered by what this guy uses, but that's something else. So I plugged it up, and we got it plugged in. I'm going to show you what it does. I turn on the power supply. Now I get light on my motherboard, which means it's getting power. But this guy right here is still dead. Let me turn off this light so you can see. Hang on. 
just so that you can see kind of the lights and everything better. This is going to be cool. So I'll come around. I'll turn on my device. And. Oh, man. What a waste of a. What a waste of a dramatic entrance, right? Oh, well. Well, it lives. That's what I'm saying. It lives. Let's take a look at brightness. We can see. It's very cool. I gotta say, it's very cool. Um, I do have brightness controls here. Uh, it looks very bright on screen. That looks blindingly bright, but um, I can barely see it. It's pretty dark. It is monochromatic as well. This is a black and white screen. Um, at this time it is silent because I've cut the cable. They received power from that same source and I don't know how to link them back up to uh, to get that sound in sync. I'm thinking about taking out the entire U... what is it? UF... UHF and UH... VF whatever. I'm thinking about chopping that off, just taking it all out and turning it into a, a very cool component monitor. I could play old VHS titles on there. I could hook it up to a very cheap um, external camera, like a security camera. This thing would look super cool, like suspended on a by a desk, feeding your you know security footage there. That would be something else. That'd be something else. But it has been a fun project. If uh, if you recognize this device, if you have any ideas or comments. Um, or resources with which you know you'd like to share um, let me know because this is not a long-term solution I can't have I can't have a <coughs> supercomputer um, for a power supply that's just not cost effective I'll probably just go to a I'll probably just go to some shop grab a, a power supply and try and Jerry mangle some of those guys in there because that's a pretty old standard apparently um, I had no idea that's really neat to see that you know you don't think about using the same kind of connections when you're working with this type of gear that people would have used maybe 40 years ago that's something else well anyway thank you for watching thank you for tuning in really happy if you haven't don't forget to like and subscribe I'm trying to make more videos trying to create a little bit more content as we go along but uh, any feedback early on helps, guys. Thank you very much.